to make an outline or a hollow image in Canva, you need to find your image. And in this example, I copied and pasted my photo. From the photo that I copied, I selected it. I go up to Effects and click on Background Remover. Once the background is removed from my image, I will make sure my image is selected. And from here, I'm going to go up to Effects. From Effects, I'm going to go down to where it says Photogenic. If you don't have the Photogenic option, it would be under Options called You May Also Like. And then you would be able to download that option. From here, I'm clicking ColourPop. And I will click Outrun. And under Intensity, I'm just leaving it at a 1. And then I click Apply. Once I've done that, I'm going back to where it says Color Mix. And this time, I want to click where it says Glow. And I want to click the options here. For strength, I'm going to change it to 0 0.8. For size, I'm going to change it to 2. And for cutoff, I'm going to leave it, at least mine says, 0 0.5. From here at the bottom, I'm going to click Apply. Next, I'm going to go to where it says Glitch. Again, if you don't have the Glitch option, you'll want to go down to where it says You May Also Like and connect the Glitch option into your effects. Alright, my first thing I'm going to change in Glitch is I'm going to pick Stencil. And under my controls, I'm going to change the amount to 1. And then I'm going to leave pass-through, amount, and angle to 0. Then I'm going to go back to Glitch again. From here, I'm going to choose Trace. And from the Controls options under Trace, I'm going to change Brightness to 0 0.8, Power to 3, Colorize to 1, and then Amount and Angle I will leave as 0. All right, when I'm done with that, I need to click Apply. From here, I'm going to click the Background Remover again. So I'm going to go back up to Effects, click Background Remover. From here, after I've done this, I actually need to click Apply again. Then I will go back to where it says Duotone. So back to Effects. Down to Duotone. And within the Duotone, I can select one of those colors as like my suggested colors. Or if I just want a white outline. I can change highlights. See if I go into the controls. And here, change highlights to white and change shadows to white. And then click apply. 
now you have your outline. You can do whatever you want creatively with your outline. Fun and easy, right? All right, at the end of this, I have a text description of what you would need to do to create your outline. Thanks for watching.